Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Guys, I have an announcement to make. Go on, go on. Yes go indeed, on. I have started a channel go on. in the Urdu Hindi language. Mami to kari soch, ya si apa yate honge? Shut up. Daddy shop and yate hundi sti. Wow. I'll put the link in the description, subscribe, let your friends and family members know the more the demand increases the more I will try to post content on there. Of course yeah I've also started Arabic channel. Astaghfirullah. Yeah again link in the description make a dua Allah makes it successful and let's get into this. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Hindu right-wing extremists are on the warpath again. Okay, what are they fighting mate? Are they fighting child abuse? No. Are they fighting female suicide? No. Well, what are they fighting mate? I'll tell you what they're fighting. They're fighting Muslims praying outside for their Friday prayers. Connect with him, but dramatic pictures they're coming in once again from th sector 37 in uh, Gurugram after right wing groups uh, disrupted the namaz that was being offered in the area. For these rebels without a clue, everything Muslim related breaks them out into a rash. They get an allergic reaction anytime the word Muslim or Islam gets mentioned. Things that have been happening for decades, mate. There's been no issue about it. But these people have suddenly turned it into the center of attention. Modi's unable to handle COVID, the economy is going down the toilet. But yo, look at those Muslims praying their salah outside, mate. That's the problem, mate. <laughs> Although this is part of a list of 37 sites designated in 2018 for Namaz. Look at these waste men. Surely their wives would be proud of them. But do they have any choice in the matter? For if they're not proud of them, they'll probably get smacked around at home. That's right, if you look at this article further down, it relates suicide to domestic violence. Alright, so let's break this down. Were Muslims blocking people? No. It was done on vacant land. And to be fair, there's only one mosque in that vicinity yeah, and if you look there's 42 temples and 18 gurudwaras yeah and the vicinity is the new developed area. Does this happen every day? No it happens once a week on the Islamic holy day of Friday and it only lasts about 20 minutes and yes we do have to pray together for those Hindus that are trying to teach us our religion mate. Did they have permission? Well yes the chief minister has confirmed this. Well what's the issue then? Well, I'll tell you what the issue is, these Hindu extremists are just throwing their weight about. Case in point, the chief minister revoked the permission because of these nut jobs which has empowered them even more. Talking of nut jobs, there's a police station opposite to where the Muslims were praying and they were asked how come you guys aren't doing anything and they go yeah, uh, that's outside our jurisdiction. Hang on a minute. Anytime we see a Bollywood movie, yeah, the police are described as Dabang. Yeah, there's a movie by Salman Khan called Dabang. He's a policeman. Then you've got Singham. Oh yes, Ajay Devgana Singham. Imagine if somebody went to these individuals, yeah, in the movie and said this is going on and they go, yeah, sorry mate, it's not in our jurisdiction mate. That movie would only last two minutes. Now check this guy out, yeah. He's shouting his God's name in front of Muslims that are praying. There's clear video evidence of this and there's hundreds of witnesses. But when the reporter asks him, why aren't you letting them pray? He goes, who's stopping them praying? Look, they're praying, they prayed. But moments before the 10 minute prayer ended, a man from the Hindu group sat down in front of the Muslims and shouted Jai Shri Ram. He says this did not constitute an interruption. This Humpty Dumpty summarizes these Hindu extremists really well. They're illogical, angry and have the IQ of used toilet paper. I mean this guy is not even making effort when he's lying. In another place reported by the BBC called Gurgaon, worshippers were referred to as jihadis, Pakistanis and then their superiors came and said whoa whoa they're not just Pakistanis mate they're doing land jihad praying outside putting your head on the ground which is the most humble you can be lowering the heart rate making someone introspect 
No, 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 that's jihad, mate. You're doing jihad on the floor, mate. You know what? The schools that have educated such imbeciles, you guys should shut your doors, frankly. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Hell yeah! Shut your doors and apologize to the parents that send their kids to you because this is an embarrassment. I mean how on earth do these guys wake up in the morning? These guys are evidence that survival of the fittest is absolute nonsense mate. And let's have a look at this brave Imam. Yeah he was just innocently walking minding his own business Boom! A Hindu extremist appears out of nowhere like some sort of Pokemon. Then he starts wagging his finger like crazy as if he's got something stuck on it. Look at the Imam's face. It doesn't change. He's not faced by this. He takes a step back. Then the policeman comes and uh, gives his finger a rest. But us as people that are living in different countries, let us value the day of Jumu'ah and the Jumu'ah prayers. The Jumu'ah prayers are very, very important. And so is your five daily Salah. Look, whatever part of the journey you're on in your life, don't ever leave your Salah. It's like the oxygen to your body, mate. You need it no matter what you're doing. And another thing, don't let people tell you that only Muslims are extremists. And of course remember our Muslim Indians in your du'as and prayers for things are becoming more and more difficult for them because this is becoming a regular occurrence now. Alright guys let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.